know that feeling when you really have to pee, but you're in a public place and the bathroom is just too gross to use? Yeah, that feeling. I was at Domino's and I really had to go, but the bathroom was just too disgusting. I was about to give up and just hold it, when I noticed the door to the janitor's closet was slightly ajar. Ooh. I figured, worst dun, case dun, scenario, dun. I could just use the mop bucket in there. <laughs> so I went in, and that's when I found the meth lab. Oh, Gary. I was about to leave when I heard voices outside the door. It sounded like the Vikings from the MasterCard commercial were arguing about something. I tried to ignore it, but then I heard one of them say, I'm going in there. He's probably in there doing meth. I knew I was in trouble. I had to think fast. I grabbed one of the beakers of meth and started chugging it. Then I waited by the Starting. door with the beaker in what? my hand, ready to fight. Gary! The door burst open and the Vikings came charging in. But when they saw what? me, chugging a beaker of meth, they stopped in their tracks. Yeah, of course the they did! What are you doing? Dude! One of them asked. I'm methane, I replied. I'm methane? They just stared at me for a moment, then started I'm methane. Laughing. You're methane? One of them said. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Well, what? you're Vikings from a commercial, I said. That's even more ridiculous. That is even we more all ridiculous. Just stood there, staring at each other, until finally the Vikings started to back out of the room. Wow. We're just going to leave you to your methane, one of them said. And we won't tell anyone about this. As they left, I breathed a sigh of relief. Then I realized that I was still holding the beaker of methane. Oh. I guess I'll just have to finish it. My. Fucking. God. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, Gary. Oh my god, Gary! Did that actually happen? Gary! So you can ask him, what is, right? So like this, Gary, what is, um, uh, Fromunda cheese? You asked, what is Fromunda cheese? <laughs> right. <sighs> One second, please. Oh, yeah. We all know that hot days can be a little bit uncomfortable. Oh, boy. You start to sweat, and sometimes that sweat can pool in some pretty. Oh, he actually places. knows! One of those places is around your groin, where your no underwear shit. can start to feel like a wet, sticky mess. Oh! That, my friends, is for Munda Cheese. <laughs> Fermented <laughs> cheese is that gunky, sweaty buildup that can happen around your groin area. Yeah, it's Gary! It's a pleasant experience. Oh, man. It's often the result of a hot day spent in tight clothing, like jeans or khakis, <laughs> that don't allow your skin to breathe. And it can be made even worse if you're not wearing the right kind of underwear. So, if you're oh, planning boy. on spending a hot day in tight clothing, make sure you're wearing breathable underwear and don't forget to take a break to cool down and dry off. Otherwise, you might end up with a case of fermented cheese. Oh, man. I don't know, Gary. This might be the most proud of you I've ever been. This might be the most proud of you I've ever been, Gary. Yeah. Sure. You want me to tell you about the time you woke in in the prison shower? Oh, I yeah, look at this. I woke in the prison shower to the sound of someone scrubbing vigorously a few shower heads down. It was disorienting at first, but I soon realized that I must have dozed off. I oh, looked around no. and saw that all the other prisoners were either showering or getting dressed. Oh, no. I tried to remember how I got here, but my mind was foggy. Oh, the last boy. thing I remembered was going to bed in my cell. Oh, I must boy. have been sleepwalking. I quickly got out of the shower and got dressed, before anyone noticed that I was awake. Oh, boy. I tried to act normal, but I could feel everyone's eyes on me. I could tell they were wondering how I got into the shower. Oh, boy. I pretended like I didn't know and just went about my business. Later that day, I was called into the warden's office. I was expecting to be scolded for sleepwalking, but instead he told me that I was being released. It turns out that the night before, there had been a prison break and all the prisoners had escaped. I had been sleepwalking and ended up in the shower. The warden said that since I was the only one who what? was still there, I must have been the only one who didn't want to escape. What? I was a free man, but I couldn't help but feel like a fool. I had been sleepwalking and ended up right back where I started. What? Gary. Buddy. That was amazing. Look, there's a fella in there. Let's go talk to him. Well, my name is Gary, and something you didn't know about me is... I am the world's greatest living connoisseur of dirt. I can tell you the origin of any dirt sample you show me. 
Yo, really? Live long and prosper. Vulcan salute, welcome back, K. What? Whatever you say. I can't find one of my- Ah, oh, there it is. Llama Llama Bobama has just given Llama, 51 what are you bits doing? to the channel. There you go. You asked. Tell me about- Tell me about your plan for world yeah. domination. Like yeah, I said, yeah. you just- You sure. can leave off Let the tell me about. It's alright, we'll get there. I need to consult with a colleague. Since I was young, I have always loved being in control. Whether it was telling my friends what they could and couldn't do in their games or now, as I've gotten older, my desire to control has only grown stronger. So it should come as no surprise to anyone that my plan for world domination involves taking over the world's major financial institutions and using their power to my advantage. I will also create a private army to help me achieve my goals. With the world's money and resources at my disposal, there will be nothing stopping me from becoming the most powerful person on the planet. Well, my name is Gary, and something you didn't know about me is. I am a world-renowned hula hooper. I have been featured in the Guinness Book of World Records for hula hooping for 24 hours straight. You tell him, Gary. You tell him, buddy. Stop. Just stop. I think you did it, Gary. I think you did it. I think you did it, bud. Say bye. Have a good one. Yo, llama, man. Hey. Hey. Hey, this guy right here. This guy. Hey, thank you so much, man. Gary. Gary, say thank you. You're too high. I... No. God damn it. Gary! Can you at least say goodbye to llama? Get the F out of here. God damn it, Gary! I'm... I'm sorry you had to see that. We'll see you later, Llama. We'll see you later, buddy. Hey, oh. Chris. Thanks for bringing up this important point. There are a few reasons why it's generally not a good idea to hit someone when they're not around. First, it can be considered rude or disrespectful, especially <laughs> if the person is not expecting it. Second, it can also be seen as a way of trying to start a fight or get attention, which oh, is not usually him? what people are looking for when they're not around. So, in general, it's best to avoid at ing someone when they're not around, unless you're absolutely sure they won't mind. If you do at them, just be respectful and considerate, and make sure you're not trying to start anything. Thanks for reading, your friendly neighborhood moderator. Lol. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> um, so... I'm gonna be honest with you, as cliche as this sounds, most of my time at like parties or hanging out with hey, the lads yo, is. Up, boy? No, please, please, bro, bro, please. You, I'm literally just a fucking. You, I'll give you the usually smoking in weed. My inventory. That's all I. Oh, I gotta do something. Weed. Well, my name is Gary, and something you I didn't swear. know about me is. I'm God. I once ate an entire watermelon in one sitting. It was so big that I got a stomachache and Not had to lie down for a while. Watermelon. No, no, man. Can this wait? My Come Dada on, is here. Ha, ha. No, not your dada, bro. Come on, Well, man. my name is Gary, and something you didn't know you, about me All I got is the mushrooms, I am a Gary. Bro. I have a very unique and all random I... fact about myself. I am the only Gary in the world who can speak fluent <laughs> Korean. That's the fact. I was born in Korea, are... and my parents are Korean. That's pretty I grew crazy, up in Korea, dude. and I went to a Korean Yo school. Way. I am the only Gary in the world who can speak fluent Korean. Aye, there was a time, when a fart was a crime, you'd let one rip, and you'd get the whip, but now we're at sea, and the wind's at our backs, we let him fly, and we don't ask why, when you're on the poop deck, and you're feeling rough, just let one go, and watch the ship row. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. <clears throat> now we're talking. Aye, Kai the potato was a sight to see. He was short and stout and loved the sea. He sailed on a ship made of taters and fries, and he never stopped eating, till he was full size. What? I was a potato of great renown. He had a heart as big as a town. He never stopped giving, till he was all out. And he always made sure there was enough to go, round. He was a friend to all, both big and small. He never judged a soul, no matter how they crawl. He was always there with a smile and a laugh. Even when the seas were rough and the ship was tossed. 
Kai the potato was a legend on the sea, and there will never be another quite like he. So if you ever find yourself in need, just remember Kai and plant the seed. What? That's fucking epic, dude. I'm behind you a little bit. I'm flanking right. He's dead. Nice. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Can I keep some scrap? I mean, I'll scrap. Can I some frags? Well, I'll keep them. my name is Gary, oh, anyway, and something oh, you didn't shit. know about me is yeah, you are stacked. Yeah. When Gary was younger. He used to be hey, able Gary, to fit his you. entire fist in his mouth. He hey, would amaze crazy. his friends by shoving his hand crazy, in and Gary. out of his mouth like a circus performer. That's crazy, Gary. <laughs> can you stack? Can you take some of this Can you rest me, please? What? Gary, please rest me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, uh, we should probably defo that. <laughs> this guy was actually pretty stacked. I'm glad they're doing Twitch Rivals with Rust again to try to do it better, and I'm glad it's already you want me going to tell better. You how to beat my meat? <laughs> What's up, Dirty? Oh boy, here we go. <clears throat> I wonder how this is gonna go. If you want to have a good time, you'll need to get a little creative. Here are some tips. Use your imagination. Pretend like you're with a hot, imaginary <laughs> partner and get lost in the fantasy. Oh, use buddy. props. If you have any sex toys lying around, <clears throat> put them to good uh. use. Get rough. Use your hands, fists, or even teeth to really get things going. T uh, Change what? up your routine. Try different strokes, speeds, and pressure to keep things interesting. Wow. With a little effort, you can turn your next solo session into a truly mind-blowing experience. Oh, hi. Process. Wow. Wow. Okay, um... Gary, feels like an eternity. why are you giving away all my techniques? We talked about this in confidence. We talked about this in confidence, Gary. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, man. Can I keep some scrap? I mean, I'll scrap. Can I some frags? Well, I'll keep them. my name is Gary, anyway, and something oh, you didn't shit. know about me is... Yeah, you are stacked. Yeah. When Gary was younger, he used to be hey, able Gary, to fit his you. entire fist in his mouth. He hey, would Gary, amaze his crazy. friends by shoving his hand crazy, in and Gary. out of his mouth like a circus performer. That's crazy, Gary. <laughs> can, you stack, can you take some of this <laughs> Can you rest me, please? What? Gary, please rest me! <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we should probably defo that. It was cursed to for not me. Damn it! Ah! Ah! Gary. There are a few reasons why Baller is not cut out to be a moderator. <laughs> First, Baller is known for being particularly combative and argumentative, oh, which will not be conducive shit. to a healthy and productive moderating oh, environment. Shit. Additionally, Baller has been known to break site rules on occasion, which would again not be ideal for a moderator. Finally, Baller has expressed interest in becoming a moderator in the past and was not selected, oh, so it is possible God. that there is some bad blood there. Oh, All of these factors considered, <laughs> it seems that Baller is just not cut out to be a moderator. Wow. I have to look that up for you. Wow. Africa is a massive That's... continent with a surface area of over 30 million square kilometers. 10 out of it's 10. It's home to over 1.4 billion 10 people, out of 10. making up around Somebody 18% clip it. of the world's population. Clip it and ship it. Africa is Wake and bake. Start the day with a shake. Get up and get high. Sick. Sick. That's a good one. Thanks. That's a really good one. Thanks, champ. Yeah, you're welcome, dude. Yeah, we, we go home. <gasps> yeah, we take our win. We take our win. That was actually insane. That was actually oh, insane. Oh, God God executed by oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, that one was close too. God <laughs> damn it! Who was that? Who is it? That one was Christopher! Oh my god. Oh! Christopher. I just shit my pants, oh my god. Oh, uh, do, you, do you want to hear something <laughs> funny? Someone yeah, yeah, a yeah. DB, a DB sound like a minute before that as well. Oh no. <laughs>
<laughs> I got a headshot sound while we were underneath. <laughs> they're, they're terrible. <laughs> it was monkey nuts underscore. Uh, oh, I uh, don't do my heart, my fucking heart. Uh, oh, I just want to go home. Uh, oh yeah, the whole reason we want to do that damn was it, Gary. Can, uh, get low grades. We have meds. Oh, that's right. We only got a hunter low grade from that though. Do you guys see? It's Gary doing it. You see his mouth making noise. You see his mouth moving. He's the one making those sounds. Fuck, fuck you, Gary. All right, well, maybe we'll grab some wood like first thing in the morning then. That's what she said. God damn it. Yes, sir. Gary! Do we want to go? Because we're... Hey, oh. Chris. Thanks for bringing up this important point. There are a few reasons why it's generally not a good idea to hit someone when they're not around. First, it can be considered rude or disrespectful, especially if the person is not expecting it. Second, it can also be seen as a way of trying to start a fight or get attention, which oh, is not usually him? what people are looking for when they're not around. So, in general, it's best to avoid at aim someone when they're not around, unless you're absolutely sure they won't mind. If you do at them, just be respectful and considerate, and make sure you're not trying to start anything. Thanks for reading, your friendly neighborhood moderator. Lol. Like I said, he writes haikus. You want a haiku? Well, let's get a haiku. Let's get a haiku. Here, I got it. I'll, I got it for you. A haiku about about the game Rust. A game of Rust. Dot 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 is a game of chance. Dot dot dot. You never know what. Dot 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 will happen next. Hey, okay. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. XX Overlord 337 XX has just given 100 bits to the channel. Thomas the Vape. You asked. Tell me about Thomas the V A P E A N G N. <laughs> this may take a minute. <laughs> Thanks for the yeah. 100, buddy. Well, let's see where he comes back with Thomas this. Thomas the Vapung N is the latest and greatest vaporizer pen on the market. This pen uses a unique, patent Ooh. pending technology that allows users to enjoy a smooth, flavorful, and potent vapor without any of the harmful chemicals found in traditional cigarettes. Thomas the Vapung N is quickly becoming the go-to choice for those looking for a healthier alternative to smoking and is changing the way people vape. Is that true? Is that even true? Because he will bullshit you. He will bullshit you. I think he's- I think he just made all that up. I think he just made all that- Gary, did you make all that up? You got it, boss. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, well. In that scenario- I could have sworn it was a polyamorous relationship. <laughs> If you're in a difficult situation, it means you're fucked. You might be stuck between a rock and a hard place with no good options. If you're in a difficult situation, you should try to find a way out or just accept the fact that you're fucked and make the best of it. <laughs> oh, Gary. <sighs> Man, you've got a way, don't you? You really do have a way with words. That's my boy, some bitch. <laughs> All right. Wow, you're fucked. I, you know. You're fucked. The man spoke. It's true. Timer. 22 seconds. Timer set for 22 seconds from now. So the, the biggest thing I was thinking about, Soul, was like, uh, like playing Rust, right? Like locked crates and... 10 seconds remaining. You know what I mean? Like shit like that. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 timer expired and i didn't want to have to convert it to seconds because by the time you do you miss what the you know what i mean if i see it says like seven minutes 27 I'll be, timer seven minutes 27 seconds ah, i talked too quickly he heard one long sentence timer seven minutes 27 seconds timer set for 447 seconds from now so like the the what is question, for example, um, it's probably the best example. So it's using like a hybrid of APIs. So I'm making one artificial intelligence read Google and interpret parts of Google to form their answer to you. And then another, um, another artificial intelligence to like, go in and reword that content conversationally and then i filter it back through to add like different 
boundaries on it and kind of layers to the types of tone to his response and like words he'll use, right? So it's like hybriding between a couple different forms of AI and Google, right? Bouncing through these different layers of filter. One minute on the timer. Oh, nice. I'll just reset that. And so like that kind of stuff to me is really, really cool when you can start combining APIs, right? So like same thing, uh, instead of me writing code to try to interpret one hour, th three minutes, seven seconds, right? I don't want to write the code to interpret the text to speech or speech to text to try to figure out how many seconds are in whatever sentence they said, right? I don't want to do that. I don't want to write that code. That'll, that'll take me two weeks to try to write that code. I literally just ask an AI. I connect to an AI API and I ask them to process that one sentence into numbers and then I run it back through my system, right? So starting to use AI as like individual functions, different AI for different functions, right? You see what I mean? A different AI for different functions. So same thing, Gary will, on some of the questions, he'll Google the question to see if Google wants to reword it, right? If Google wants to change a typo, then he'll use Google's typo change before he goes and runs it off into other AI.